baseball always loved me back yeah so i was i was in heaven and uh as my first inner squad at bat was off the top recruit for the school and i took him dead center oh and i was like let's, yeah let's, let's go. go but then i think like a month later i was playing i was playing shortstop and i threw a ball and i heard i felt a pop in my shoulder uh -oh. and i tore my rotator cuff and that 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 curved the uh the dream of playing an actual collegiate season or playing whatever type of baseball after that Man. now don't get me wrong after that i played in some adult leagues some wood bat summer leagues some i ended up playing uh slow pitch softball big time slow pitch softball stuff like that but you know that was, it was never it never materialized into what i wanted it to sure what about uh you mentioned a little bit of pro football action well, let's talk about that a little bit you mentioned uh, some, it, yeah yeah it was a semi-pro football league it was just to put uh they were called the reading raptors i played three years what position uh kick returner and safety oh shit. because again i could still i could still fly i could run yeah like, I, I i think it's funny because everybody looks at me now and they're like this fat ass ain't no way bro I, i'm six foot probably like 260 now 250 260. then i was you know six foot 180 175 180 right. just just stone cold steel and sex appeal you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. like abs but like i was you know adonis you and know you didn't uh, need a rotator cuff to run around and smack people either in football so is that no, was well, that I, the I natural yeah i recovered i recovered from my from my from my shoulder surgery i had a, the whole thing the rotator cuff the labrum and a bicep tendon Jeez. But, I, but i recovered from that and you know i think it was maybe it was probably like 26 27 28 i think that's how old i was when i played the three years mm -hmm. played football but uh i played three years of that we Damn, won you we played won up till 28 i mean sorry to interrupt yeah. but that that's kind of old i mean you didn't you didn't come across any other injuries in that time and i got i got a concussion but well, that's, nothing nothing yeah, that's major football. wow that's pretty wild to stay that, 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 was, that was fun because i was that was fun because i was back in my hometown okay after after i recovered from my my shoulder surgery i moved back home um right. and my my mom i called my mom i was like mom i hurt my shoulder i don't want to go to school because all i was going to school for was play ball i ain't right. shit about school i enrolled to be a kindergarten teacher yeah that's what i was i was going to be a kindergarten teacher that's oh, what i wanted my. to do i was like well if i'm going to play ball and i got to take classes I'm gonna be a kindergarten teacher <laughs> please please become a kindergarten teacher <laughs> oh man dude so, think of all the twitch primes <laughs> twitch I, mean, primes I, love, are... I, I love kids man yeah, like, kids I, are great. I, I love kids and i'm just a big kid and I, I, i'm a big kid myself so yeah uh but i called my mom i was like mom i can't find a job i don't want to go to school i can't play ball so she can't she drove down picked me up took me back home i lived at home for about a month and uh my high school sweetheart found out i was back home living at my parents house she still remembered my parents phone number oh dang called my called my parents house one night my mom hands me the phone she's like you're never gonna guess who this is and she ended up becoming my second wife wow you guys rekindled yeah yeah second she wife be, yep did you have and, any kids uh, yeah we have my oldest uh uh kept junior my, okay the one that that is does my youtube videos with yeah. me sometimes he's, four, he's 14 <laughs> he's 14 he's the he's my son from her my my son from my first marriage ju is just graduated high school um he's i don't know much because i haven't talked to them and i don't know how long i'm hoping i'm hoping one day that he reaches out to me so okay. that we can develop some sort of relationship but i know he's really really good at baseball i know he's going to college in pennsylvania somewhere to play baseball i don't know specifics hopefully soon i'll know specifics but uh that'd be cool to have that conversation one day yeah. with him just yeah. because uh you know he probably has he probably has you know hurt in his heart and and who knows what he's thinking about the whole deal and who knows what she said about it and and, and exactly. all, you know so like uh it'd be nice to get your story across to him and, I, and, I, and being, being who i am now i won't sugarcoat anything i'll be honest with him and hopefully he you know he'll learn from my mistakes he'll learn i mean he he didn't he didn't grow up in a bad household by no means i mean sure. 
you know, his stepfather, the one that adopted him, he's a, he's a good dude other than, you know, taking how, my family from me. Yeah, how he handled, how he handled you. Yeah, but, you know, he, he was a Marine too. You know, he's got good work ethic, so I know he was raised right. Sure. Um, but he'll know not to steal nobody's wife. I'll right. Tell, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, so you're, uh, uh, so you have the second wife, and uh, you guys have another kid who's kept junior, and uh, how long did that marriage last? about a year a year yeah. <laughs> about a year uh we uh i stayed in contact with the friends that i made down here and he went through a scandal where he was sleeping one of the with one of the softball players he was coaching and uh he ended up getting another job of a big time uh equipment company that sold expensive to uh kubota if you know what kubota is yeah yeah big time. he uh the started dating a girl became the general manager of her parents company who's this like, now oh, who are you talking about again one of, one of, my my friend kevin he oh uh, right, 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 right one of the guys i he was the one i lived with right. after i got in the marine corps he got was you. coaching the, the college softball team oh, okay he was like you know i just became a gm of this big time company you will move back down here i can get you a good job and at that time jobs were scarce where i where i lived like i couldn't find a job if i was getting like temporary jobs not you know just struggling so um i looked at i looked at my then wife and i was like yo we can we can move to north carolina i can get a good job um she was in school and she was like yeah and i think like a couple months later we found a place moved to north carolina pe picked up moved to north carolina and baby uh kept jr was he was born in 2000 God, man, I'm so old. I can't remember what year. <laughs> uh, uh, he's six, he's right? So yeah. 2005. Yeah. 2005, somewhere in there. Um, And we moved down here before he was a year old. I got that job. That job went out of business within the year that we had moved down. Oh, no. Um, you had to have been stressed out. Yep. Oh, yeah, because I was the only one working. I was making really good money. Um and cost of living down here is way cheaper than pennsylvania mm -hmm. so we were we were we were in pretty nice shape and then she found a part-time job at a lowe's found a shoulder to cry on no uh, it happened not ended, again it, yeah happened again um they're still happily married have a daughter <laughs> i am the step I, if you want to find Stepping your stone. Brain, yeah i am the fine what was that movie what was that movie where ever there was a movie where every time the guy broke up with somebody the girl found the love of their life charm, <laughs> the life of the life like that's <laughs> how it was for me i was married and divorced twice by the time i was 26 years old jeez well so i mean it's all right so so you, you have just baby kept with her right or kept junior i should just say kept junior yeah just, kept yeah. junior okay and so that ends in dramatic fashion and it's got to be another heartbreak for you so you're living the single life for a couple years is there kind of you know what's that like until you until you meet cc there was a, there was a couple relationships in there yeah. um on that when that's when online dating took off so i found uh one girl on plenty of fish found another one on tinder uh they both ended up being out of their fucking minds crazy <laughs> um so i'm just yeah like i'm I my mind was so like I don't know it was my own fault right um I wasn't showing them enough attention I was you know not being not not being uh unfaithful but flirting and dabbling you know what I'm saying like okay just being that way so you know I was always playing video games I was always off playing softball always off playing baseball always doing something wasn't paying them much attention so not giving my full effort into a relationship so and at this time I'm going from job to job can't keep a job because I'm just angry I'm always just going off on people getting in fights freaking just you know uh, a couple legal things here and there nothing major but and you've never uh, and you've never been one to medicate for a little while for a little while i did okay um but it, i didn't like the way it, I, I was a zombie i was a zombie you'd rather uh, dealt tried, with it on I, your own yeah i tried the i tried the professional route you know sitting on a couch yeah. talking to people uh -huh. um but that doesn't go over with me well and i and i have a, a very strong opinion about that stuff and uh i've 
I, some friendships have ended over my thought on going to talk to professionals. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand, like, the professionals they have a piece of paper that say they can, you know, dive into your brain. But unless you're me, you don't know what the hell. You don't – you can't play – you can't coach football not having played football. You can't coach me on how my brain is not having – you know what I'm saying? I don't seen care what, what I've seen and done. I don't done. care what astute college you've gone to. I don't care what astute what – what grand what – grand, diploma you have hanging up on your wall you're not me you can't tell me how to act and how to feel and you haven't dealt with the shit i've dealt with or done the things i've done and you're not inside my head sure. <laughs> so yeah. that didn't last very long mm -hmm. and so then you you tried the medication that didn't last long you did yeah. and so i mean kudos to you for for you know fighting that shit on your own man that is not easy that takes uh that takes a, think, that takes a lot i think that's where a lot of people like I tell a lot of people, and I don't understand because I'm not a doctor, right? I don't understand chemical imbalances and what your brain's going through. That's why a lot of people come to me and I'll be like, bro, you realize the shit I've been through? You realize the shit that where, I, where, I, where I've come from? Like, fucking fight. Fight. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. But some people just don't have yeah. the, the, the ability to fight their brain. I, for whatever reason, you know, I... I I have a failed suicide attempt. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Um, there were plenty of times where I was single and jobless. I was homeless for a time. Um, I was actually homeless right before I met Cece, mm -hmm. right before I met my now wife. Um, living in my car in my in the job in my job's parking lot with my dog in my car. Um, so I, I've been. I, I, I tell people this as a joke that I could probably either made for TV movie or I could write a number one New York Times bestseller on my life, <laughs> my, whole, my entire my entire life, even up until this point. I, I've been happy for about six years. OK, that correlates probably meeting CC, right? I mean, yeah. she. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been utterly and purely happy. Um, I rescued my dog to to help me out. Uh, my dog saved my life before my wife saved my life. You, you went and just got a random rescue, or or he just ended was, up in your life. Somebody, it was actually somebody that I knew from a, a, one of those previous relationships. Uh, it was their, it was her niece and her husband, and they were they weren't taking care of the dog. He was pretty, he was in pretty bad shape when I rescued him. But uh, they were, I, I had always said, um, if you ever want to get rid of your dog, I want him. Like when we, when I was with that girl, I would always talk to them about wanting their dog yeah and uh they called me up one day and said hey do you want cooper and i was like hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i was like the day after i went over there they weren't home and he was on their back deck in a crate just pissing and shitting all over himself he was <sighs> malnourished he was all matted up he was just it was in a small crate he was a, a sheltie a shetland sheepdog a miniature collie and uh i scooped him up on the way home to where i was living I was actually I was living in a tiny apartment behind somebody's house. On the way on the way back to the house, there's a veterinarian. I stopped there. I was like, "Look, I just rescued this dog. Can you help me out? Clean him up, bathe him, clip him." And that was my buddy, man. That that dog saved my life. Awesome. Which ironically, that dog ran away about a year ago, and I found him three months later on a Facebook page, and he is now helping a. A, a girl there's this girl she raised she's raising her sister um she has really bad anxiety and depression he is now helping her through life damn that's awesome i mean your instinct is probably to go get him back but then you're like you know what yep, yep. as soon as i started talking to her and i started talking to uh her older sister the one that's taking care of her and then i started talking to the younger the younger sister and what everything all the stuff she's been through with anxiety and depression and stuff bro i i i, I one of the three times i probably cried the way i cried that night talking to them through facebook messenger about how he has saved her life that's awesome so like you know i'm gonna start tearing up now because i love that fucking dog that, i absolutely love that dog i would i if i could i'd sneak over there and steal him back damn <laughs> cooper I love that dog, you but gotta I know, get some cooper emotes man <laughs> like, he, like, he, like he was put on this world to save, save lives. People's lives apparently yeah. so he's an angel they send, me, they send me pictures and videos every now and then um, they said when all this stuff, when all the COVID stuff clears up, I can go over there and see him if I want, but I don't think I can do that. <laughs> You'll want to take I'll, him back. I'll, I'll want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll want it. that's cool, man. So, so Cooper is the bridge from you know, uh, you know, 
rough, really, really, really rough time in your life. Probably the bottom of the barrel for you. And uh, he's the bridge that leads you to CC. And uh, talk about how you met CC a little bit. She's awesome. I actually, uh, we, we got hooked up by a mutual friend. Um, I knew him from playing softball, uh, going to church, because during all this, and, and I, can't, I can't talk about my story, my life, without talking about my faith which I know people, it's gonna come to as a, as a big shock to somebody. Like, all this, all this guy does is cuss and <laughs> rip people apart. What do you mean talk about faith? Um, I started going to church. I started, and I, I can't believe I, I didn't say that when we were talking about the medication and the talking to the professional people, that going to church actually is, it helped me a lot also. Mm -hmm. um, I got saved, I got baptized, started, um, you know congregating with with church people and going to bible study and because obviously i was by myself too i was i was alone mm -hmm. so that was a good thing that to get involved in um and then i ended up starting church softball teams and stuff like that so i i was putting my own my own love into the church as well by starting softball teams and stuff like that um but uh I was, I met him through the church, through church softball, and he tried to hook me up at one time before, but the girl wasn't my type. She, like, I couldn't barely understand her. Um, she wasn't too good looking. Um, so I told him, I was like, bro, don't ever try and set me up ever again. <laughs> Come on, man. So, so he texted me one day, I'm at, a, I'm at work. I have, the, you know, I have this good job. It's actually the, you know, the job that I'm, I'm living in the parking lot in my car. And uh, he, uh, he's like, yo, he's like, this girl, she just gotta have a bad relationship. You just gotta have a bad relationship. Um, and that's why I was homeless, because the girl I was with, she's like, you got till the end of Friday to get your shit out of my house and get going. Never, just because her dad didn't want me living with her. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, so I was like, bro, no. <clears throat> I, I told you, don't try and hook me up never before. He's like, no, come on, come on. She's like, I'm pretty sure she's your type. She's, she likes sports, she likes baseball. She is a Yankees fan. I was like, fuck. Damn, man. I was like, I, I was like, what's her name? So I look her up on Facebook. And apparently at this time, he had already contacted her. And she won't say this. She stalked my Facebook <laughs> and, gave him the, and gave him the go ahead before I stalked hers and gave him the go ahead. Right, okay. <laughs> so I was I looked at her first few profile pictures. I texted him back. I was like, sign me up. Dude, she's <laughs> hot, huh? Yeah, she was, she was it for you. Like all, like right instantly, you know, physical attraction. And I don't want to hear none of this. I don't want to hear none of this bullshit about. Um, no, it's superficial. You're shallow. Physical. No, whatever, whatever. When you walk up to a girl, when you see a girl in a club, when you see a girl at church or the grocery store or at the post, the post office, what's the first thing you notice? How good they look. Of course, that's you the very first thing. Anything about them? You don't know anything about them. You got to be attracted to the person. Of course. It's that's... not going to work if you're not attracted to them. Right. And then, and then the other stuff comes later, you know, yeah. after, after you realize you're attracted to them. I, I agree yeah, 100%. Me. I've, been, I've been with a lot. I've been with a lot of women and I, they, they can be the hottest thing on the earth. But if you're stupid or if you're, <laughs> if, if you're not nice, if you're, if you can't hold a conversation, if you don't, if we, there's no common interest, it's not going to work. I don't care how hot you are. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So and, yeah, go ahead. Keep going. I, uh, I said, sign me up. And we started talking that afternoon. Speaking of the devil, turn around. Yeah. Uh, we started talking that afternoon. And until recently, when I left North Carolina to go to uh, Wisconsin for uh, Green Bay Packers and Philadelphia Eagles game this past season, we have not spent a night apart up until then. Mm hmm. We talked awesome. that. We talked. We talked that afternoon. She showed up at my softball game Thursday night. We went out to eat after my softball game. Who she brought her best friend with? I still call her best friend the chaperone. <laughs> she chaperoned our first day. Party of three. <laughs> Friday, I stopped on my way. I stopped at her work on my way to pick up my son, and we shared a we shared a kiss in her work parking lot. I get in the car to drive to pick up my son. I get a text message that says from that says, "So what now?" My thought process was, okay, well, I just put my tongue down your throat. You enjoyed it. You felt something. You want to be my girlfriend. That's how I took it. Right. So I was like, I texted her back. I was like, so you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whoa, easy. That's Calm true. down, creep. But, <laughs> you see what she said? Yes. She yes. said yes. Oh, yeah. Like old and, school. Uh, Did you feel like a little kid again? You had to have. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It was yeah, it was instantaneously. Like the 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 talks we would have, we'd be talk. We would talk till three, four in the morning. Even after we saw each other, we were talking till wee hours of the morning. We were going to work three, four hours of sleep. Sometimes you hang up. No, you hang up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. So, and I think a week later, because she knew, I I told her I was like, look, I'm living in my car. Um, I'm going from couch to couch. If I can find somebody, to let me sleep on her couch. Um, I, I have nothing right now. Nothing. I have my car, my shit in my car, and my dog. Because when I had moved in with my girlfriend that I had previously, I got rid of all my shit because she had a, a nice a nice little condo or something. I couldn't fit all my stuff. Yeah. Couldn't put it in storage. So I got rid of damn near everything. Couches, bed, everything. Nothing. I had nothing. Start Just from clothes. Scratch, yeah. Yep. And uh, I was like, I have nothing. I have the stuff in my car. I have my dog. And I think a week after we started dating, we started living together. A wow. Week. Hit it off rinky, right away. Rinky, rinky dink piece of crap single wide trailer. Love it. And so and that, and that she was because she was living with her parents at the time because she had just gotten out of a bad relationship, abusive verbally towards her and her kids. Oh, so you so, guys got this little trailer together. Yep. Nice, nice. And wow. Yep. And so you you're thinking, okay, you know, she's hot. If it doesn't work out, worst comes to worst, I got a roof over my head and a roommate. You know not it won't be that big of a deal but you guys you can hit it off right away and you knew going in that, yeah yeah oh, i knew yeah yeah i yeah. knew i knew just because of what she had been through what i had been through it was just at the right it was at the right moment again you know yeah. fate whatever you know i believe in that stuff i believe god has a plan i believe sure. you know so god put me in her life at the right time uh he put her in my life at the right time and it just felt right. Um, I had met her kids, not right away. Uh, well, I guess you could say right away because we started living. Well, maybe maybe it was two weeks. I think maybe it was two weeks. A couple weeks in. I think it was a couple weeks uh, <clears throat> where we moved in together. And then I had met her kids at one of my softball games. So it was never like, you know, show up to the house. Hey, here's here's Bradley. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, they came. she brought them to one of my softball games, talked to them here and there. Um, so it was, but it just, it just felt right. And my son, so my son, Brad, uh, Bradley Jr. at the time took to her right away. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it just, it just felt right. And here we are. I mean, I can count on one hand, how many serious arguments we've had in August. There'll be six years. We've been together five years married. Oh, your relationship's unreal from the outside looking in. It's just like, it's like, she's like the perfect wife for you, man. She, she gets you. She understands you. Um, is your dog i think your dog might be getting down okay he's just scratching i thought he was humping behind you <laughs> i thought he was that 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 dog was full-on humping oh, I, I thought he was humping dude i was like that's get that's after it that's, that's my wife's dog that's a, she had him when we met um he's, so that's beautiful man so you meet you meet her you guys hit it off right away how long before baby kept comes into the picture uh couple years she actually, she actually was pregnant on our honeymoon okay so we like we wanted we wanted a we wanted a child together well, um actually i kind of skipped the whole marriage part of it actually so how did you propose and when did you know and when how long after you guys move in together did that happen we started dating in august we i think we moved into our first place in august as well august 8th august okay. 8th um so middle august end of august we move in together i proposed to her uh on her birthday in december december 11th is her birthday um in in where we live there's this like this little light place where you go to like a little light christmas light village you ride a little train you ride you know you get the hot chocolate and some whatever um but they her family does it every year so it's become our thing every year now too that we go to this same place every year nice but uh i had i asked her I, I, it's her dad. It's actually her stepdad, but it's her dad. Her real dad is a piece of work. So I, he's her dad. So I asked at the Christmas, at his, he's a paid firefighter at their, at his Christmas party. I pulled them both to the side and I asked them, you know, I'd like to ask your daughter to marry me. And they gave, you know, gave the blessing, whatever. So, uh, she actually, I didn't have the money for a ring, obviously. So I, she, one of her best friends uh died from uh uh what's the breathing disorder she ended up 
her mom said that uh, she wanted Christian. Christian's her name. Is my wife's name. Uh, wanted her to have her her rings. Oh wow! Uh, so she would wear them. She would wear them. I I got the rings. Had them re cystic fibrosis. That's it. That's it. So oh, cystic fibrosis. Man. Um. So I went and got uh them cleaned. I went and got the. I went. Uh, I had a, a few missing diamonds replaced, and I used that. I used that ring. Okay. Uh, to propose to her out in the middle, like we're, we're there's hundreds of people around, and I've got on one knee and and right before we got on this little train to ride around the little Christmas village thing, and asked her to marry me. Put the ring on the wrong finger. I was so damn nervous. <laughs> Did you cry? You would, I, you would think I was a pro. You know, this would be my third. <laughs> Your third run, right? <laughs> you think I would be a pro? You know, I'm 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 going for the hat trick here in marriages. <laughs> did you uh, uh, Did you cry? Nah, no, no, no. Her daughter was upset. Her daughter cried. Her daughter was upset. <laughs> like mad? Like no? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's used to it now, right? She's she's. Uh, is, oh, didn't yeah. she just yeah, graduate high school? Her daughter. Yeah, she's getting ready to go off to college. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you. But,